Hi everyone, in this module, let's see how to create a printer with universal print using graphics DK. To follow the code better, let's understand how printer registration happens in universal print. When universal print gets a registration request, it registers the device with the Azure Active Directory. It starts the registration process in the background and returns the operation ID in the response header. You can use the operation ID to get the status of the registration. As mentioned before, Universal Print registers the device with the Azure AD. To do that, it uses Certificate Signing Request, or simply called CSR. This CSR should be part of the Create Printer Request message. Once the registration is successful, Azure AD returns device certificate. As I mentioned before, you can use the operation ID to get the status of the registration. If the registration is successful, Universal Print returns printer certificate and printer object. Let's see how this is done with code. I am in my Visual Studio and running the code in debug mode. In the constructor, I am creating a graph client with admin token. Let's log in with admin account. Now that the authentication is done, let's continue with the registration demo. First, let's create a printer in register printer function. As mentioned before, creating a printer is a two step process. The first step is initiating the printer registration. As you know, create printer request should contain certificate signing request. You can get the code snippet to create the CSR at this location. Before we create a printer, let's add few more basic printer properties. The next step is to send the request. The response of the create printer request contains the operation ID in the response header. If we use the graph line, we won't be able to read the response header of a post operation. Hence, let's use HTTP client to send the request. Once we got the response, the next step is to pull the status of the registration. Let's get the status of the registration in get printer registration status function. If you look at the format of the operation location, it contains the operation ID at the end. Let's pass the operation location to get the operation ID. Let's create request to get the operation status and send the request. If the status is still running, we will retry it after recommended amount of time. In this case, the registration is successful. The response of the successful registration contains a printer object and the printer certificate. While we do not need printer certificate to do any graph operation, we recommend you to save the printer certificate in the keyboard. That's how simple creating a printer with universal print is. Let's display the printer information. As you can see, the printer contains pretty basic properties. Let's add additional printer parameters in update printer method. I have the printer parameters in the binary file at this location. Let's read the content of the file. Let's update the attributes of the printer in update printer method. To update the printer, we first create the graph request object for the printer. Copy the content into the request message and send the request as a patch operation. Let's read the printer back in getPrinter method. We first create the graph request object for the printer and get the printer by making a get request. Let's display the printer information again and verify the additional parameters that we just added. Now, let's go to Azure portal and share the printer that we just created. I'm in the Azure portal and here is the printer that we just created. Let's share it with everyone in the organization. Now that the printer is shared, let's go to my VM and print to this printer. Now I am in my VM. Let's print this document to the printer that we just created. Let's go back to the portal and look at the job page of the printer. 
as you can see the print job was submitted successfully and it's in the processing state thank you